hello and welcome back to my channel obviously for some of you who've been here for a while i've been gone but there's a good reason for that and the reason is because school has started and uh, i'm done i'm now doing college i was doing high school when i was recording the uh, other past videos i was doing but now i've started college and um pretty much all my free time is done now so yeah i'll be posting but obviously i've been a bit preoccupied if you must but obviously this week we have an episode of danny gonzalez turn black this is a series where we're going to be covering uh the vegan teacher because obviously she's a human being that fascinates me in the way she acts and whatever she does on the internet and obviously i'm not one to go and join the cancel culture but yeah let's see what she has to say before we begin the video i would like to do this video's comment shout out and yes i am doing that obviously it goes to dj anwar he said do you still exist and yes my friend i do exist i was a little bit preoccupied but don't worry i'm here for good i am not going anywhere this is pretty much how her channel looks like as you can see she has a big uh, following but one thing that is not surprising according to uh the tiktoks that i've seen and the youtube videos that i've seen is that there's a lot of dislikes on her videos a lot of them and you can see there's the ratio is lower than i've ever had i've got at least 50 but she's got seven percent which means a lot of people have disliked the videos she posted anyway there's this one for example eat pizza change your religion i hardly ever so while editing this video uh i decided to do you guys a favor and remove out uh, some of the segment because it literally takes one minute to explain how to open a pizza box so you know how those uh minecrafters or whatever they're doing they constantly play their game while they're talking well instead of playing a violent game and shooting people i'm going to talk to you about this vegan pizza the whole time and I'm going to talk to you about religion and why you should change religions. So, this is my vegan pizza. I'm so excited to eat it. It takes a while to show us what's inside her vegan pizza. So, yeah, I skipped that too. You're welcome. I'm going to ask you about your religion. Why do you have the religion that you do? Why do you not change religions? Maybe you already have. I'm going to have a bite of this while I talk. Mmm. Just because you're born into a religion doesn't mean you have to stick to it. The reason you should change religions is because you should have an open mind. You know, you change your underwear every day, change your religions every day. Why not? What makes you think that your religion is the best? Now, I have met some people in the past who think that their religion is the best. It is opinion based it's your opinion that you you think your religion is first but this is a sensitive matter to talk about and it becomes even worse of an idea to talk about it while telling people to change their religion that is unacceptable just because you were born into that family and they told you here's your religion it's the best doesn't necessarily mean it's true because imagine you were born into another family and then you had their religion. Let's say, for example, you're Christian and you were born into a Muslim family, then your religion would be Muslim and you would think that your religion is best. It is very, very, very easy to answer this question because if I was born in a Muslim religion, it is highly likely that I would still practice the Muslim religion. But it, that doesn't mean I think that it's the best. Obviously, people who think their religions are the best are the ones who turn out to be toxic, to toxic friends, and more than that. The story of Noah's Ark made no sense to me. I mean, didn't they have dinosaurs back then? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the person who, obviously, I'm not trying to bash her or anybody else who has the same beliefs as her, but it is, at least I think, up to my limited knowledge i do believe that the dinosaurs did exist before humanity before humanity and they were they got extinct before humanity came the neanderthals the homo sapiens am i saying that right they came long after the dinosaurs were extinct and so her saying 
didn't they have dinosaurs back in the day shows how limited the knowledge is and i don't think she's qualified to tell people to change their religions where did the dinosaurs go i mean before I mean, I think most people know that the Bible is full of fairy tales. Stories written by humans to help, you know, keep society organized, to keep everyone in check. This is something that I would heavily not advise to anybody. Avoiding the subject of religion is something that can prove beneficial to some people because if you bring religion into things, it changes the way the conversation is gonna go. Right here she's saying it was written by humans. Who's to say, who's not to say. But you don't talk about religion like this, especially since there's always people who believe in the religion very heavily and might cause damage to people who, like her, are bashing the religion. Here's another video that did not leave a good impression on me. It's uh, I actually found it on TikTok, but I just managed to find it on her YouTube channel. It's uh, apparently I killed someone. It's uh, I believe a friend. Uh, the comment says my friend literally died from mal malnutrition because of your posts. I tried to get him to st uh, to meet, but he was committed and died because of you. He, he lost his friend. That is a very bad thing to happen to anybody. And obviously, no one should wish that on anybody. And so, let's see how she reacted to it. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my God, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? Was it soy milk or tofu? Oh my God, he died, eh? And you tried really, really hard? To make him eat meat, yeah? Shit. But did you try hard enough? Like, did you take him and just like force him down and just say, man, you gotta eat this dead pig. You gotta eat this bacon to save your life. Did you do that? You know? Did you, did you make him eat a sausage? Did you like shove a chicken wing down his throat? I don't know if you tried hard enough, man. She did not react well to a person who just lost a friend a best friend at that i don't know but this is not how you respond to this it shows how her mission is now it doesn't seem like it's to convert people into vegan it's to show them that vegan is the right way there's also videos of her saying uh heaven is vegan god and jesus are vegan uh, all of them so if you want to go to heaven be vegan obviously that is false according to uh, information we have but I do have to say that this was wrong of her to act like this especially asking why what killed your friend because it is very dumb and stupid to actually re ask a person that question while they're telling you that a friend of theirs just died it is very morbid very stupid to act like this but obviously what what vexes me is not just she continues to do this is the fact that she has a platform that's the problem because she does a lot of messed up things on these platforms of hers tiktok youtube she does a lot of messed up things and the fact that she still has a platform while on tiktok if you go there and say the word uh that rhymes with grape you get a problem because your video gets taken down you probably get banned same reason here she says those videos she talks about racism uh lgbtq abuse all those things and yet she still remains here i don't know what's going on but i do not think it's fair on other creators who don't even some t don't even really get banned because they did something bad it's because they got banned for saying one word or talking about that subject especially during covid at the at the first time if you talked about covid 19 there was gonna be there were problems but this is problematic and it should not be allowed to continue uh, another video that of hers that also made me angry was uh, the title of the video says i can't breathe Composed on May 25th, 2020 with new lyrics, uh, lyrics added on June 19 after the sudden death of vegan animal rights activist Reagan Russell. 
it is a very sad thing obviously that he died everybody should feel bad for his family and everybody but you can't just pretend as if the reason these words are here at least the reason they started never existed i am a lamb torn from my mother your hands are clenched squeezing my throat actually one thing i just noticed is that the comments are turned off and the dislike and like buttons the numbers are also turned off now i'm not saying this but it shows to me a guilty conscience it shows that she knew what she was doing was wrong where hence why she turned off the comments turned down the like and dislike ratio and yet again the problem i still have is that this is still here this is to it should not be allowed to be here especially given the context of what the words came from i am an indigenous mother a white man has pushed himself inside me i can't breathe now to me i uh, there's so many things that have changed uh, are that in this song of hers that she made that I don't even feel like it's about veganism anymore because she's talking about indigenous women and a white man she, ta she talked about an immigrant person she's talked about the animals and she dared to say uh, gas chambers she she dared to include gas chambers god i am a canadian woman with a protest sign your auschwitz truck has run over Yes, so as I just previously stated, she included the gas chambers and she is included the Auschwitz truck. Obviously, I believe for many of you who did not know, the Auschwitz was the Auschwitz truck was the truck that carried Jews to their death in the gas chamber. Uh, but the problem is now trying to prove that veganism is good, you don't associate it with something that's bad, that's a bad memory. All right, you can you can't just say racism, the Holocaust, and uh, LGBTQ abuse, and so many of other bad things that have happened. You can't say all those things are equal to the abuse animals get. Obviously, I've seen videos of uh, abuse on animals, and it sickens me. But they're not equal. They are not equal animals, and the hate that the humans have gotten with the obviously the protests uh george floyd all those things racism the holocaust you cannot count them as the same and if you do please you have you've got to find a way to change because it is not equal obviously you might want to hate me or whatever but that is the way things are they're not equal they're different i am an american man on the ground and knee is pressed into my neck i can't breathe well, now we can clearly see something is wrong because obviously she's talking about that that incident with George Floyd. But as you can see, as I've stated multiple times, they're not equal. And if you think that, then please try to find a way to change because it is not equal. What are you doing? Get off him! Can't breathe! Get off him! Get off him! He's already hit She's using the audio of uh, the people who were recording the incident of George Floyd in the background of a song while repeatedly saying the words, I can't breathe. I am not the only one who sees how bad this is. And I am, as I've already stated, I'm not one to join into the cancel culture, mostly because it is over drama that is not in a big, that is not a big deal. But this is a big deal. All right, racism is a thing. The LGBTQ uh, hate and abuse is a real thing. The Holocaust was a real thing and it happened. All of them are bad things, but they are not equal to what's happening to the animals. I get it, it is bad, but they're not equal. And the fact that she still has a platform to spread all this shows something is wrong. This should not 
keep happening. Now, if you thought the uh, the songs that she did, in case you've already seen some of her songs and her music, well, you might want to look at this. It's called The Carrot and Hummus Rap. Eating them while wearing it, nothing could be better. Jump, jump, freeze, jump, jump, freeze. Ooh, C is for carrots, H is for hummus. No matter what day it is, you won't want to miss eating carrots and hummus when you're matching attire. Nothing could ever make you feel... Yeah, so, so what I think should happen is that either she tries and change her content by showing the positive side of becoming a vegan. Because to my experience and knowledge, after what I just saw here, if I, were, if I wanted to become vegan, I don't think I would want to become vegan after watching all these videos, especially of her bullying kids saying become vegan now or change your religion because Jesus and heaven will accept you if you're vegan because heaven is vegan apparently. She has no source, no proof and yet she's here spreading all this information to people who might be even kids watching her videos. Now to end this on a lighter note, hopefully at some point in the future she might change her views and change her content up a bit before she gets taken down because i am pretty sure i'm not the only person who thinks that her content is bad because i do think it's bad but obviously in the end who cares mm -hmm.